Nevada, Santa Cruz, and we are at the DePriest Brescia Art Gallery in Paso Robles, California. We are working with the Veterans Pop-Up Arts Cafe today. It's our pleasure to host over 15 veterans who have used art to, as a therapy means and express themselves, and we're just delighted that they're here. We're here with the Veterans Art Cafe, and I want to make sure we highlight the work of Richard Bloomquist and his book, The Flaming Arrow. Richard was a pilot in World War II, and he his job with his crew was to publish this book, which he finally did at the age of 104. Here in Paso Robles, Richard Bloomquist met young Hart, and Hart was a seven-year-old boy in Dresden, Germany during the war. The pilot's wife needed health care. The young German boy's daughter was a caregiver. She introduced the two men. They became the best of friends. They met every Tuesday for seven years, and they started the Paso Robles Peace Community. They became the best of friends, Richard and young Hart, here in Paso Robles, California. Richard was able to complete the book in March 1st of 2022, and two weeks later, he was gone. He went to rest. He told his family good night. We are very pleased that we've had the opportunity to know both of them, and they started the Paso Robles Peace Community. His book, which is on Amazon, is the proceeds go to the peace community. Now let's introduce Stan Hawkins. He's a wonderful artist, and he is an accomplished. Well, he's a veteran, and he served this country. And after, the, after that, he began to study art as a means to be able to express himself. And some of these beautiful carvings that he does is just amazing, along with his ability to paint and represent the emotions. You see that in much of his work. Stan expresses himself in many different mediums. As I said, his ability to paint is just a marvelous. This piece was done for a particular, particular show that we did with Veterans Voices and he expresses many different aspects of the world today. I think you can recognize the four horsemen of the apocalypse here. He comes with a message of hope and with a message of hope for all of us. Stan Hawkins, he's an awesome artist. He is a veteran and it's just a genuinely authentic person. Stan served the country. He's come back. He has studied art as a, he was a businessman as well, and he studied art and is able to now get, help other veterans to paint. He does classes. It's amazing what this man does, but his work, The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, really shows you the talent he's been able to uh, give attention to, and he inspires other people to be able to put their ideas on the canvas and to paint, which is a fabulous release for individuals.